Welcome everyone to this unboxing video, very exciting unboxing video for me. You may remember a couple of weeks, uh, months ago in fact, uh, I reviewed the book Iao by Jose Gabriel Alegria Sabogal. Uh, got two copies up there, the standard hardcover edition and the collector's hardcover edition and um, I liked it so much that I decided that this should be my very first artisanal edition. This is going to be the most expensive book that I own and uh, it's arrived. It spent weeks at the imports office and I guess they weren't sure how on earth a book could cost this much, uh, which is which is fair enough. Um, uh, but I, uh, having having seen a few previews of this book, I, I know how little I've actually paid for it. Um, uh, it's it's uh, this is a big 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 moment for me. So um, uh, so here we go. Um, I I have paid full price for it, by the way. Um, what I mean by what I just said is that uh, from what I've seen, uh, the, um, uh, the 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 price of the book is actually criminally low <laughs> but uh, let's 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 check that out so I'm I'm being incredibly careful of course with my um, with my trusty scalpel um, being very sure uh, not to cut anything that might be inside although uh, being anathema publishing of course it's very well protected yeah plenty of bubble wrap that's really nice and uh, let's let's do this in a way that you can actually see what's going on now. I know that there is also a copy of the serpent icons in here. So uh, little little teaser. I won't be opening that for you guys today. Uh, I'll be doing a full review in the coming weeks. Uh, but but yeah, here is the here is the uh, the pièce de résistance, as it were. There we are. Let's put the box to one side. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> here we are, here we are, here we are. Oh, so much bubble wrap. Let me get to the book. There we go. Yo art, presumably for artisanal edition, right. Let's get through the cello tape here. Being very careful to be careful despite being on camera, you know, um, there's this tendency to try to do things fast when there's an audience, but uh, <laughs> I really want to make sure that this is a hundred percent safe. So here we go. There we are. Oof. So first thing, first things first, the new bookmark. That is lovely. So it's um, Bibliosophia is Anathema's own YouTube channel, and oh yeah, the book the bookmark's really nice. It's um, it's kind of embossed, um, and and a very nice thick card. Oh, it's really beautiful. Yeah, great work there. That's that's lovely feels really great. I'll, uh, I'll give you a close-up on that in a, in a few moments, okay? I'll grab the camera in my hand basically and, uh, and show you. But here is the book, here is the book, here is the book. Very nicely, um, yeah, packed with foam and stuff. So here we are. The scalpel staying right where it is. With we're uh, tearing cello tape at this point. There's no way I'm taking a scalpel anywhere closer. I can see that uh, there's there's written Denny. That's my 
first name number seven. So I, I, I don't know if that's, I, <laughs> I don't know if that's, um, if that's uh, a teaser. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Nice. Let me put the paper away. This, this is what I've just unwrapped. I'll give you a closer look in a moment, okay? But, uh, the, the quality of the materials is not something I'm used to. Uh, you know, I'm used to some pretty, pretty nice materials. This is, uh, this is on a, this is on, oh my goodness. <laughs> the, the texture on that. Oh, right, okay, I'm gonna grab the camera and uh, I'm going to give you a, a, a close look, okay, at, at what I'm, what I'm seeing. All right, so first of all, as promised, a closer look at that uh, bookmark, just to give you an idea of the uh, the texture there, which is, yeah, which is which is lovely, <laughs> really really nice. Uh, Bibliosophia, of course, is Anathema's own YouTube channel. Do go and check them out. Uh, there's the details right there at the bottom. Okay, so yeah, and very nice and thick, and uh, yeah, a, a beautiful object in itself. Very nice. There we go. But here, of course, is the item itself. Now, the very first thing that, uh, that, that, that you notice be before even noticing the, uh, the, the, the delightful um, gold uh, embossing over here is actually the marbling on the, um, uh, on the slip case itself. It's metallic paint, so that's all different um, shades of gold and copper and and, uh, and silver. It's so beautiful. It's so incredibly beautiful. Um, and then and then it's it's all um, you know contrasted with this this these uh, these greys and blacks and and whites. Uh, but yeah, the way it shimmers in the light like that, it's oh, really, really nice. Um, I mean, I can I can already tell what, what's going to be at the top of the list of my most beautiful books of, <laughs> of 2022. Um, and the reason is because it's going to be at my most beautiful book full stop. I mean, very clearly before even taking it out of its slip case. Um, and then that texture on the, uh, on the, on the leather here. Oh, it's so nice. So, so nice. Okay. Let's get the book itself out of the slip case. So, uh, yeah, there's this really interesting design here. It's actually a, um, a, a, a cross, a, a Celtic cross. Um, when it's sitting on the shelf like that, it doesn't really, um, uh, uh, well, you, you can't really tell very, very wet, very clearly. You can see that there's an interesting design going on over here. Uh, but but it's not quite clear necessarily what what is going on. Uh, so let's pull it out. There we go. And yeah, and you can see that it is in fact a cross going across the the cover. So again, this lovely gold stamp on the leather. It's very beautiful um, slate blue leather. Very beautiful, very, very beautiful. Um, uh, very, very, very soft to the touch. And um, yeah, and then the, the gold edging. 
gilt. Yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, there is one more thing that I that I wanted to show you that I noticed as I was pulling the book out, is that uh, the inside here is all soft. It's all soft leather here, keeping the um, keeping the book itself uh, nice and nice and cozy. Let's say um, certainly safe from scratches. Great stuff, really. Oh, the, the attention to detail is just, just, uh, yeah, just not something I'm used to. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, I mean, Anathema Publishing's books are always, you know, impeccable. This is, a, this is a, it's an, it's another level to anything else that I own. It's, a, oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the end paper, and with uh, with 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 that uh, metallic paint once again. I mean, I know that this this right here, this 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 paper, this this marbling uh, technique is a very expensive pr process in itself. Um, you you don't pick up marbled paper like this um, for. For pennies, um, and 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 I've never seen marbling done so beautifully. This is this is just yeah, it's just something else. It's uh, it's incredible. Ah, oh, there we are, Jose Gabriel Alegria Sabugal's monogram there, and sure enough, copy set number seven of forty-two. My goodness, you know, it's moments like this when I realise I'm I'm a very lucky man. I'm a very, very lucky man. So for those of you who haven't seen my review, do do go and check out the review. I'll link it, of course. Uh, this is the author's um, idea of what the iconography of Christianity might have been if the Ophic um, Gnostic sects had survived, right, rather than the version of Christianity that we have today. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a, it's, it's fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm not going to flick through the book uh, <laughs> because I already did um, quite a bit of that in my previous review. Um, so do do go and check that out. But uh, but yeah, it's it's. There's lots and lots of very, very cool art in, inside there. It's, uh, it's very, very art heavy, right? You're, you're certainly getting uh, um, your, your value for your money here. And um, uh, I can see that the paper itself is the same uh, stock with that kind of linen finish, which was so, so nice. Uh, the same stock as the, uh, the other two editions. Um, the the standard edition and the collector's edition, of course, and then yeah, and then some black end papers, and then the the marbled end papers once again. How utterly beautiful! Well, there you are. There's a <laughs> little unboxing video for you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please. Do remember to leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and uh, even share the video if, uh, if, if you'd like to do that um, and uh, then subscribe if you haven't done so already and uh, yeah I'll, uh, I'll uh, see you very soon with another video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.